part of what I like about graphic design is being able to use the application filter with file format to create a pleasing solution. Do you know you can use a GIF file to create texture in your design project? Twenty from Caesar Graphics, welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to create this nice looking movie poster that I've tagged Paul. So without any further ado, let's dive into today's tutorial. So I'm going to create a new document now. If you need the exercise file for this tutorial, simply make use of the link in the description section of this tutorial. So the width of my project is going to be 700. Height is going to be um, 920. Resolution is going to be 100. Now, the reason why I'm using this frame size is because I want to achieve the Instagram portrait frame. All right. So I'm going to click on the create button now. Create a layer. I'm going to drag the head of Paul here like so and uh, already crop the image so i would advise you do the same move when you download the exercise file so i'm going to call this bg i'm going to fill this with background color here so i hold on control and backspace then i'm going to bring out the curve adjustment and i am going to click on this on the clip icon because i only want this to apply to the pole layer so i'm going to drag this down like so so the whole idea is to add contrast to the pixel by uh, boosting the highlight because without boosting the highlight and making the shadow darker, the noise effect may not work properly. So I'm going to move this here like so. All right. Then I'm going to bring out the black and white adjustments and I'll push my yellow up like so and I'm going to dial my red down a bit bring out the curve adjustment again and i'm just going to dial this down like so all right and i am going to hit the control i on my keyboard to reverse the mask and i I'm, i need to click on the clip icon because i don't want this to apply to the background all right so i'm going to select the layer mask of the curve adjustment and i'll select the brush too I'll go to the brush setting and so select the soft round brush here and I'll zoom in. Now I need to be on white here because my layer mask here is set to black. So I'll reduce the size of my brush and gently add the curve to this side. Gently apply it here. So I'll go to the curve adjustment setting. And I'll just dial this down to add more depth to the shadow, like so. And I'll add another curve adjustment, and this time I'll increase the highlights. All right, I'll hit Ctrl I on my keyboard to reverse the mask, and I'm gonna click on the same icon again. And I'll increase the size of my brush, and I'll just add the curve to this side of. Our projects okay then I'll add a layer mask to pull layer increase the size of my brush I'm going to switch to black and take the side out of the project like so now when you're doing this don't over apply the brush because And I'll put this in a group. And call this pawn. Then I'll create a new layer and I'll call this blur cloth. Alright, so this is going to serve as the cloth. So I'm going to select a color from here. The button, this should be behind this layer. And I'll gently apply this like so you know what i need to take this out so i'm going to hit the eraser tool to and just take this out from here make sure that my transfer is checked all right 
you know, gently. Now, the reason why I turn on my transfer is so as to be able to control the strength of my brush. So I'll take this out from here, like so. Then I'll select the brush tool again. Add the cloth. For this side, I'll just make this more stronger. Like so. Then I'll turn on shape dynamic. I'll just draw a line. I'll increase my smoothing because I want to be able to control the smoothness of my brush. So I'll just draw something like that line here. I'm gonna do the same thing here, like so. Do the same thing here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the prison gate. So I'm going to select the shape tool. All right, then I'll make sure that my fill is set to um, gray. All right, so I'm using the same shade of gray that I used previously. So then I'm going to, so if you need a color code, I'm going to click here and then you can copy the color code here. So I'm going to select the OK button and I'm just going to draw. Then I'll make a copy of this and position this here like so i'll make a copy again and position this here make a copy and position this here so i'll shift select the four sh the four um, shapes and i want the space between them to be equal so i'm going to click on this icon and then we have this i'm not i'm going to make a copy of the shape again and bring out the free transform and rotate this and this should be here and I'll make a copy again and hold on shift and position this somewhere around here not that okay then I'll shift select the shapes again bring out the free transform and scale this uh, down like so this is not bad all right so then what I'm going to do now is to add shadow to the gates all right so I'm going to hold down control shift and click on the thumbnail of the shapes all right now i'm not touch, i'm not going to click on the thumbnail of the horizontal shape for now so i'm going to um, create a new layer and call this shadow and i'm going to hit the ok button now since my background color is set to black what i'm going to do is to hold down control and hit backspace to fill the layer with the color of my background so uh this need to be behind the four shapes like so and this should be above this all right i'm going to match the two objects and i'll hold on alt and place my mouse in between the two layers and click to clip the shadow layer inside uh, the horizontal shape so what i'm going to do now is to go to filter blur and select gaussian blur and now you see we have this um shadow so i'm going to make my radius 8.0 like so and select the ok button I'll select the first layer and click on the FX button here and select inner shadow. I'm going to increase the opacity and I'll move this to the side like so. All right, because the light is coming from this side of the frame, so my shadow needs to be opposite the angle where the light is coming from. So I'm going to position this here. Let me just reduce the opacity a bit. Increase the opacity a bit. All right, so this is OK. So I'm going to select the OK button and I'll hold on Alt and make duplicate of the inner shadow and apply it to the second shape, Alt again to the third shape and to the fourth shape, like so. So then I'll put all of this in a group. I'll call this pool. And I'll put one. And uh, let's see for the horizontal shape. I'm going to click on the FX button again and select inner shadow. Now, for this, I don't need to change this uh, that much. I'm only going to increase the uh, opacity and I'm going to select the OK uh, button like so. So then I'll put everything in a group. And I'll call this poles. Okay. Then I'll add a layer mask to this. 
okay and select the brush tool increase the size of my brush then go to my brush to setting and turn off shape dynamic and i am going to apply my brush like so okay so then what i'm gonna do now is to hold down ctrl shift alt and e to stand visible of the layers then i am going to um, save this project now and we're going to use the file format to create the noise so i'm going to hit ctrl shift alt and x on my keyboard and i'll make sure that um, i'm on gif here and my option here is going to be on black and white and i'll make sure that transparency is checked and i am going to make sure this the color is set to auto data is going to be 100 and um yeah so one other thing i think i need to do again is dial down the width um size to 600 now the reason why i do this is because uh by the time i put this back to the project i want the noise effect to be bigger than what I have now yeah it's gonna affect the um, the quality of the image but I don't mind so I'm just going to select the button now I'm gonna save this here select the button all right then I'll go to where I saved the file I'm gonna drag it and drop into the project like so and this is what we have all right now look at this look at the look at how wide uh, the dot is this is exactly what i want to achieve i'm going to click on the adjustment button here and select solid and i'm going to make my solid color this code all right so it is um 3e a 6b3 and i'm going to select the ok button and i'll change my blend mode to multiply all right and i'm going to go back i'm going to click on the hue saturation adjustment here and increase the saturation just to add more contrast to the color like so and let's zoom out so what i'm going to do now is to color my gate so i'm going to create another solid color adjustment and i'm going to make this red this is cool all right then i'm going to select the layer mask of the solid color and hit control i to reverse the mask and i'm going to draw a shape all right on the poles so i'm going to draw a shape here like so i'll draw this here okay i hold on shift because if you don't hold on shift photoshop will deselect the first marquee shape that you drew so i'm going to draw i'm going to present this here this here hold on shifts and this should be here like so now this is good so i'm going to fill this with my background color by first selecting the layer mask of the solid color and hold on control and backspace all right then what we're going to do now is to change the blend mode of this to uh color i guess yes yeah, should be color then i'll double click on the layer to bring out the layer style because i want to blend it first so i only want this to apply to the um highlight part of the pose i'm going to move from this side to this side like so all right and i uh, i'm going to hold on alt and split the slider and just move this back a bit and move this to this side um, a bit and i'm going to select the ok uh, button so the next thing i'm going to do now is to add a shadow to our poles here so i'm going to create a new layer and call this pole shadow i'm going to hold down ctrl and click on the thumbnail of the solid red color layer and i'll fill this with the color of my background here by holding ctrl and backspace so hit ctrl d to 
take out the marquee and drag this below the layer of the solid color and i'll position this somewhere around here i'll go to filter blur and select gaussian blur okay uh, i'll position this here like so 11.1 good so then i'm going to select the um, ok button and i'll hold on alt to make duplicates of the uh, layer mask of the uh, solid color layer and drag and drop it on the pole shadow layer the next thing i'm going to now do is to hit ctrl i to reverse the mask and i'll reduce the opacity a bit all right now this is what we have you can even take part of the gate out from here by hitting this like so just taking this out like so i don't like this here so i'm going to select the uh, layer mask and just blend the solid color like so just gonna do that here like so now this is good add uh, my grunge image so i'm going to drag that and drop here like so and i'll rotate this or flip this this way and make this bigger and just move this more we'll rotated this way all right and i'll change the blend mode to um screen and i'll reduce the opacity to let's say 60 all right now this this is beautiful so i'm going to hide this and select the solid color layer and i'll hold on ctrl shift on and e to stand visible uh of the layers and i'll position this here bring out the free transform and just rotate this a bit and just scale this big like so and this should be somewhere around here like so and i'll make this visible so i'll bring out the hue saturation again and i'm just going to increase this and then you see we now have the color of the gate the way we want it to look all right then i'm going to add my text so i'm going to click here and i'll type select the two layers and I'll put this in a group and what I'm going to do now is to add the layer mask I'm going to call this the title let's select the brush set in here select the brush tool and I'm going to go to one of my my grunge I'm going to select one of some of my grunge brush here all right and select the layer mask and I'll reduce the size and just apply this here like so Alright, I'm glad you made it to the end of today's tutorial. If you are able to achieve any project at all with the help of this tutorial, simply post it on your Instagram, use the hashtag Caesar Graphics, and remember to tag me. My Instagram handle is at Caesar Graphics. Share, like, and comment on this video. And if you have not subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to hit the post notification bells so you get notified when I upload my new tutorials. So I'll see you again in the next one. Peace.